Hello Internet, Rob from A Minor Air with another Strandberg comparison video, this one comparing three different six string models. So the three guitars that we'll be comparing here are all six string tremolo equipped models. It's a classic, a Bowden Prague 6, and a Bowden Fusion neck through. These three guitars basically occupy the entire extent of the Strandberg line when it comes to price point as well. So the classic being with Strandberg own branded pickups, you get two single coils and a humbucker in the bridge. The Prague being with two humbuckers and no middle pickup, uh, they're all Sur branded. And then the Fusion being the same two humbucker pickups but plus a single coil in the center, all by Sur. So first, do three demos so you can see and hear these different guitars in action. I've already made dedicated review videos covering them, so I'll do the little links either above or in the description. So if you wanna see a little more detail about a specific guitar, you can go check that out. Next, the signal path is all the same for all of these. I'm running directly into a Mo2 M2 audio interface, and then, as always, using neural DSP plugins as my amplifiers with my own sort of custom-made processing and mixing to try to get the most out of each of these guitars. <laughs>
So now that we've heard all three of them in action, I'll cover at least some of the broad strokes of the differences between the guitars. So first, with the classic, that guitar features a solid alder body with a Paul Faro fingerboard. It's clearly the most budget-oriented of the three of them at around 1500 bucks. The Prague is slightly more upscale, thus the $750 price increase. You get a chambered swamp ash body with a solid maple top along with an ebony fingerboard. You also get upgraded pickups here. So not Strandberg own branded pickups, but on the bolt-on models you get Sur pickups and I am absolutely in love with these pickups. They sound really nice, they're articulate, they work great for both rhythm and lead work. With a five-way switch, you're able to get it plenty of different tonal varieties that work well for cleans as well. The construction of the Fusion, being this is a neck-through model, is a bit more involved and definitely is reflected in that more premium price point at well over $3,000 new. The wings of the body are chambered alder with a carbon fiber reinforced roasted maple core kind of running through the body on the neck through design. It also has a Paul Ferro fingerboard to go along with those three Sir pickups. So you get the same neck and bridge pickups, but then you've got that additional Sir single coil in the middle. So now that we're about halfway through this video, if you like it, please hit like and subscribe. Do all the YouTube stuff, helps my channel continue to grow. So here on a minor air, it's the creative home for everything that I do musically, which is original progressive metal music, product reviews, talking head tip videos, and free music lessons. Those are the categories that I cover. I also recently released a new EP called Cauldron of Stars, so if you like the demo tracks and the sample playing and leads from these videos, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it if you took the time to check that out. I think you might really like my original music. There's also links down below where you can follow me and find me on all the different social media accounts and on Spotify where you can hear my whole back catalog. As the names of these guitars imply, there are certain tones and players that these guitars are targeting. The classic being Strandberg's take on an old school sort of Fender Strat with your pick guard mounted pickups on it. The Prague obviously being directed at a more technical guitar player in either a heavy rock, metal, or a Prague context with that ebony fingerboard. The Swamp Ash body and Maple Top is a really great tone wood combination as well, in my opinion. And I really am just completely in love with those Sir pickups. The Fusion is probably the most versatile of the guitars here. That neck through design really makes access to the upper frets unparalleled. And the tonal addition of that single coil pickup just gives you more options to go. Keep in mind all three of these guitars have passive pickups and a five-way switch with just a master tone and a volume. So there isn't any push-pull pots or anything like that for extra combinations. Your five-way switch is going to get you there, which I personally love on all of them. It's important to note too that currently Strandberg offers the same quality hardware on all of their instruments. So despite the fact that the Classic is cheaper than the other ones, the bridge is still full quality. You're not getting some, you know, kind of budget-oriented hardware that's going to obviously sap a whole bunch of the tone, but also potentially cause tuning stability and reliability issues. The Classic, I personally found the middle and bridge humbucker especially to be very lacking in my own opinion, but with that more budget price range already, you know, being able to go out and upgrade the pickups I think makes a ton of sense. So which guitar would I personally choose? For me it's a bit of a toss up between the Classic or the Prague actually. I think picking up a classic used off something like eBay or Reverb might make a ton of sense and then use that money you save to upgrade the pickups. Put something like a set of those great Sir pickups in there, especially that Sir Bridge pickup, I think would just be a great sort of a little bit more budget-minded, professional quality instruments you could really gig the crap out of and, you know, be very reliable. In the end, I would probably split the difference and go with the Prague. I'm not that much of a single coil player, honestly. For me personally, I'm more geared towards progressive metal music, so the Prague would make a ton of sense. Those pickups 
paired with the tone wood is absolutely incredible. And if you shop around, you can even pick one up a little bit marked down used. The only word of caution that I would give you is that I have ran into a couple Strandberg guitars, really two out of the four of the Indonesian made ones that I've tested had really sharp fret edges. That was either fret sprout that happened because the guitars were manufactured in a very high humidity climate in Indonesia and then imported over to the States or potentially a manufacturing problem. But either way, you know, the, the sharp fret edges do need to be addressed. Uh, and I've had it on now 50% of the Indonesian ones that I've checked out. So if you are buying used, I would recommend just to reach out to the owner who has it and see what they're gonna tell you about those fret edges. It's not too expensive to have them filed and fixed, but you know, a guitar that's over a thousand bucks really shouldn't have that problem. Overall, any Strandberg that you go with though, you will be very happy with the overall fit and finish aside from a potential fret edge problem. The Strandberg body design paired with the Endurneck and the way that they've installed the strap pins on the guitar make it just very ergonomic, very comfortable, and in my opinion, it really is a cut above other brands, even something like what Kiesel, Ibanez, or Ernie Ball Music Man might be offering. 